Well, hello there, and welcome to another edition of History Hangout here at the Shippensburg History Center, the home of the Shippensburg Historical Society. My name is John Miller, and I'm the executive director here. And today we're going to talk a little bit about what's in this box. What's in this box is a miniature version of what they would call um, parlor croquet or tabletop croquet or miniature croquet. And it's a real interesting piece. And we'll get to that here in a second, but just a little background on the game itself. Croquet, as you may or may not know, is a game that's mostly often played outside in the lawn where you take a mallet you try to hit the ball at a starting point and you send them through these whisker baskets to point B and then back to point A and whoever can do that with first with the less amount of hits obviously wins the game. Now the game itself pretty much has its origins dating back to the 1700s when the kings would play in their courts and that was known more along the lines of a game of uh, Palais May or Paul Malls, how we would kind of pronounce it here in America. And then by the 1840s, some speculate it could have been Ireland. Other resources say it was France, but the modern game of croquet came from there. And then from there, it kind of migrated over here to the United States prior to the American Civil War. Now, the game itself was not very popular at first when it arrived here, but there were certain clubs up in the New England area just on the eve of the American Civil War that were playing competitions um, style kind of games uh, with that. But really the game that we know it as today after the mallet gets much shorter, this becomes more of a popular type of game to play in the backyards after World War II, more going into the 1950s with urban sprawl. And that's where families would have picnics in the backyards, they would have barbecues, and they would usually play some type of game on the lawn in their backyard. So going back to what's in this box here, this is an interesting piece because this version of croquet, this was patented in 1872. To buy this, say in 1868, and one that's just like this, it would have cost anywhere from $8 or if you wanted a more deluxe version, it would cost $20. And to kind of give you an idea of the type of money, the average Union soldier uh, during the Civil War, for an example, made $13 a month. So the box itself is in really good condition. The finger joints are all nice and tight. The label is very hard to read, um, but up here you would have the name, here's the patent, Parlor Croquet. And then down here it says number, which when I'm looking at it, it looks like it says number three. So this may have been a step up from the standardized version that they would sell in the catalogs. The beautiful thing is, is that this piece is ID'd. It belonged to a James Crawford, I'm hoping I'm saying the last name right, Oakson from Juniata County. Now, James was born in 1866. He would eventually pass away in 1893. His sister, uh, Jeannie, she was the one who purchased this game for him in 1882. And kind of give you a look at that. Now, how did this end up in Shippensburg? That's a pretty good story. Um, one of the children um, that James had um, with Clara, Rebecca, she eventually married a Benjamin Long, and then they moved here, or she moved here after marriage to Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and of course, both of those are pretty much uh, laid at rest over at New Orleans Cemetery. So maybe she brought an heirloom of her father's with her. Like I said, the game itself is in excellent condition. There is a couple missing pieces, but the major components are all still here from the miniaturized mallets. And there's six of those. And to kind of give you a comparison of the size, this croquet set here was 
sometime probably late 50s, sometime during the 1960s when this was made. And here you have the miniature size version of it. Here you have all of the wooden balls. And as you can see, they're color coded. Just like uh, the, the lawn versions are. And then you have miniaturized baskets here. What I like about this game is, and I don't know who would ever try to do this, but good with a better piece here. These hooks here, I'm guessing you could hang up on a wall like that. Although in my parlor, I probably wouldn't. And of course, here you have your ending as well as beginning points or stands for that matter. So these games, parlor games were very, very popular during the Victorian era. Um, they were popular in the Edwardian era. Any kind of game that would have been played with a family or if friends were coming over. Most of those games were done in the parlor. That's why they always call them parlor games. This here, if you do a Google search on it, you can look up carpet croquet. You can do the parlor croquet. You can do miniature um, and things of that nature. And some of these sets that I saw on eBay, for an example, are selling anywhere upwards to $200 to $300 interesting piece that we have in our collection here i was not expecting to find that when i went upstairs today but it's a it's a really cool piece of american history that you really don't hear much about anymore when people think of games usually they think of the playstation or an xbox or the computer my generation we were kind of like that dividing line between board games and the Sony PlayStation and Nintendo. Going back a little bit further, board games, outside games, and things like that were popular. And because of how cool and how unique this is, many of you probably know that we have what we call a hands-on history cart. And I would love to be able to make a reproduction of this and have this uh, come with us when we go to different community events just so children as well as adults could see this. So hopefully 2022 is treating everybody fine out there. And we're going to do a lot of different things this year. We can't wait to get started once the weather finally breaks. So until then, Shippensburg, everybody stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for stopping by.